Well, now at noon, top health experts are warning of a surge of coronavirus cases on top of the surge we already have, with California and the country setting new records in the virus. Good afternoon. I'm John Dabkovich. The fear is that cases and hospitalizations will skyrocket, with many Americans defying warnings not to travel or to gather for the holidays. The California Department of Public Health says there are more than 7,000 COVID patients in hospitals across the state right now, nearly triple the number that was recorded at just the start of this month, and also more than any other time during the pandemic. More than 1,700 people are in ICUs right now for COVID across the state as well. The drug company Moderna, though, announced today that it is going to be asking the FDA to give its vaccine emergency use authorization. More than 4 million people tested positive for COVID in November. That's more than double any other month during the pandemic since it began in March. CBS 13's David Begno has the latest. We're not going to stop living just because of COVID. Millions of Americans were on the move again over the weekend as people headed home for Thanksgiving gatherings. That is despite weeks of warnings from state and local officials to stay at home. The travel that has been done has been done. The country's top health officials put on a united front Sunday with their blunt assessment of what is coming next. We may see a surge upon a surge. We are deeply worried about what could happen post Thanksgiving. It's going to get worse over the next several weeks. As it stands now, 24 states set records for new coronavirus cases in the last week, while the U.S. reached about 180,000 cases per day. In New York City, despite a steady rise in coronavirus cases, Mayor Bill de Blasio plans to reopen schools next week for kids in pre-K through fifth grade. He closed them almost two weeks ago when the seven-day average positivity rate hit 3% in New York City. Now it's approaching 4%. But the mayor still wants to reopen schools after the Thanksgiving holiday while increasing testing and requiring consent forms. Meanwhile, the number of Americans hospitalized with coronavirus is approaching 100,000. And doctors like Joseph Veron are caring for them nonstop. He works in a COVID ward at United Memorial Medical Center in Houston, and he has worked for the last 255 days straight. That's him in this photograph, taken on Thanksgiving, holding an elderly coronavirus patient who was alone and weeping. I'm telling him, look, everything is going to be fine because I understand what's going on for him. You don't know who you are talking to. So especially in the elderly, they get disoriented very easy. They get frustrated because these are people that at some point in time, you know, they were used to being controlled. So out of the blue, you put them in a place where they are pretty much in a prison. I felt the need to help this poor gentleman. I mean, I had to do it. Moderna says the FDA will likely meet to discuss its request for emergency use authorization on December 17th.